Hello, my name is Deborah Weller, storyteller. I've been performing as a storyteller in the United States of America and internationally for over 41 years. I love to teach and reach people through telling stories. The story I'm going to tell today is from Africa, the continent of Africa and the famous Anansi tales. Anansi could be both a spider and a man. On this very day, Anansi woke up. He chose to be a man and he was sweeping his front porch and thinking about the delicious yam stew that was in his cooking pot. As he was working, Turtle came along. Uh, hey there, Nancy. I just noticed the wonderful aroma coming from your hut. Are you cooking yam stew? Why, yes, I am. And at that point, Anansi turned himself back into a spider. I'm cooking yam stew, the finest in the village. Would you like to come for dinner and have some? Why, certainly. Thank you for the invitation. But then Anansi looked at the turtle and said, But you can't come into my house. You're all dirty from the dust on the road. Go down to the river and wash off, please. Turtle went down to the river and he slowly went into the water and he got all cleansed. He climbed up on the bank of the river and started slowly going toward Anansi's hut. The turtle was walking along the dusty path to get to the house. He knocked on Anansi's door. Anansi, I'm here! Anansi opened the door. I told you to get washed off and now you're all dirty again. Go back to the river! So turtle went back to the river and washed off. But this time, when he climbed up the bank, he stayed on the grassy path instead of the dirt path. And when he arrived at Anansi's house, he was all clean and he knocked upon the door. Anansi opened the door. Oh, turtle, you do look a lot cleaner than you were before. I can't invite you in now because I waited so long for you to get clean. I ate all of the yam stew. You'll have to come back another day. And he slammed the door right on his friend, Turtle. Turtle was disappointed, but he headed back to his pond home. In a few days, he left a little message on Anansi's doorstep, which said, You are invited to come to my pond and have a delicious meal. Please arrive at two o'clock. Well, Anansi was so excited. He put on his very best jacket. And then, on Tuesday, he headed to the pond where Turtle lived. He stood on the edge of the pond and looked down in the clear water. There he could see Turtle. The table was set and there was crab and shrimp and oysters and clams, all of Anansi's favorite things. But now he had to dive down into the pond to be able to be seated at the table. He jumped into the water. 
But the water is water, and Anansi was a spider. And no matter how hard he tried, he did not have enough ballast to get all the way down to the bottom of the pond to enjoy the feast. He was very frustrated. Oh, what am I going to do? I can't get down there. I see the food. And Turtle was just smiling at him up through the water. He shook himself out on the grass and then got an idea. Hey, if I put some pebbles into my coat pocket, I will certainly be able to get down to the bottom to enjoy a fine feast with my friend Turtle. Those crabs, those clams, those oysters. I want them right now. So he filled the pockets of his jacket with pebbles. And he leaped back into the pond. When he leaped back into the pond, he did sink this time all the way down to the bottom and sat right upon the stone that Turtle had set for him. I'm so glad you're here, said Turtle. But, Anansi, there's one thing you must know. No one can sit at my table wearing a jacket. Anansi couldn't believe it. He saw that beautiful food. But as he took off his jacket, pop, he went right up to the surface of the water. He climbed on the bank of the pond, shook himself off, and looked down at the water at that beautiful food, and Turtle was just smiling. And Anansi knew that he had to be kinder to his friends from that day forward. <laughs>